Ooh, ooh, this is the beat. Stepping up my block, young bones in me ride. Open thinking I'll stop to my mind in a box. Cash and I'm shaking so I cannot pick the lot. A and a P. Okay, Jesus Christ. I'm honestly surprised I even balanced it that long. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Solid Wait a Minute. Today we are going to do a supreme unboxing. The unboxing will be so freaking supreme. But as you guys know, I just did a supreme unboxing like maybe two weeks ago. Normally I try to space these out because I don't like to do back to back Supreme unboxings, but I've had a couple of you mention to me that you wish they were a little bit more time sensitive because last time I did the Supreme unboxing, I showed off a bunch of older shit. This time obviously I'll be showing some of the more recent items that I've been copying from the last several weeks. But that being said, if you would like me to do these unboxings as they come out, of course, let me know by smashing that like button down below and I'll make sure to do these as they come out instead of just saving up a bunch of stuff and doing like one huge haul every several months. Also, I have two things coming up very soon. I have the North Face collection video, so if you guys would like to see that, of course, let me know by smashing that like button. I'll show you guys all of my personal Supreme North Faces, and I'll incorporate a couple of my other like North Face collaborative pieces. And no, even though I'm only showing off one of the North Face Expedition jackets in this video, I actually have all three Expedition jackets coming in, all three fleeces coming, and all three of the Gore-Tex pants coming in the mail thanks to StockX. If you are going to buy any of these North Face Supreme pieces, the best time is now. This is a piece that will go up in value. I'll discuss why towards the end of this video or during this video. I know some people are gonna be on the fence because they saw what happened to the snakeskin, but understand the snakeskin North Face was trash. Everyone agreed that was trash. This is actually a genuinely dope collaboration between Supreme and the North Face. So I'm telling you guys, if you would like any of these pieces, from the North Face Supreme collab, the most recent one. Make sure you check out StockX. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. That'll be the top link of this description. That's where I copped all of mine from. That way you can buy with confidence and prevent yourself from being scammed. Anyways, let's crack in to these packages. First up, <laughs> I don't need a knife because they only sent me like two boxes and, well actually they only sent me one box. One of the boxes is one that I got because I paid Kais to give me something in store. But anyways, ooh, this is the piece that I knew about too. This is one of the pieces that I expected, obviously. Let me crack into this. I have a photo in mind already, so I'm not even gonna tell y'all what my plan is with this, but this right here is a pretty sick piece. As you can see, you have that Gucci colorway, those Gucci vibes that says Supreme New York throughout the entire garment. Quality is nice, their puffers are always nice. I love their puffers. They're not Nupsies. Nupsie is what North Face names their puffer coats and they name it that because it's named after a fucking mountain because they name all of their coats after a mountain or a hike or whatever. Ooh, do they have, a, they have a little green box logos too? That is gas. I definitely think I'll be able to get some sick pictures with that piece and that will probably remain in my personal collection for a little bit. Diving into the bag, as you guys see, we do have some more stickers. We go over all the stickers at the end of these unboxings. So let's get to the next package. This is a big one, so I'm assuming it's a big jacket as well. Ooh, we have a cup. Oh, yep. Okay. I was confused because I saw the colors. And when I first saw the colors, my first thought was the Mandini gun hoodie, and I was like, okay, I know I didn't get that from Supreme. That would be sick. More stickers. Okay, so first up, we have the Casino Jack. Robert, what is this? The Chris Cunningham uh, sticker pack that was like taped to this package or the tape came I don't know anyways you have this right here this is yet another puffer from Supreme I really do not have any space for these puffers because they take up a little bit more space in the closet and I have a lot of puffer coats but you have this casino down jacket right here you have a little pocket right there this one's a little bit different than the other one the style is different the materials are a little bit different as well as you can see it's not actually sewed into little squares so this is just one big ass jacket you have these chips right here that say supreme the dice there's a four right there i wonder if it's on like 94. i remember someone coming up with what these dice were on they had like some speculation as to why the dice fell on the way they did i think it had something to do with like Six plus three is nine, and then four ninety four, or something like that. I don't know. I could just be chatting shit. But either way, super dope jacket. I got this in the green colorway. This jacket wasn't super popular, but honestly, I thought it was dope, so I picked it up. Yeah, next up we have this field jacket. This right here is a personal piece. I mentioned when I discussed the lookbook preview that this is a piece that I like. This was not very hyped. It kind of sat, honestly, and I think this jacket is sick. I really, really hope this fits me, because this is definitely going to be a personal piece. I got a size medium. Oh yeah, that fits good. I like that. It's just sad that the pants, which are size 30, literally the smallest size you can buy, do not fit at all, and I'm gonna have to get the pants tailored. Next up we have, is this another puffer coat? It is another puffer coat. So look, this piece actually sold out. Well, it sold out because I slept in. I shouldn't say it like sold out hella quick or anything. I don't wanna give it too much hype. 
but I was really gassed on this colorway. This is definitely more my vibe. Like I love this jacket. It just reminds me of like some old mechanic jacket that I would see like people like at the bar that my mom used to waitress at wear or some shit. Super sick. As you can see, this is the stripe puffer. It just has this stripe going all the way down the sleeve and then it says Supreme right there. It has that beautiful chesticle or breastesis embroidery right there. And this is going to really attract the ladies to your titty. So I mean really this is extremely crucial. Here on the Star Life channel, we are all about trying to get you the so if you have not subscribed already of course change your life subscribe hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications join the notification game, game, game. just hit my hand on that that was kind of awkward but yeah like i said make sure you subscribe turn on notifications join the notification gang i try to respond to all the comments that come early and even when i can't write when i post the video i'll try to come back a couple hours later and then i'll try to go to the oldest comments posted and respond to at least like the first 20 or 30. now let's go over this north face because some people are going to try to skip ahead to the end of the video and I really just I don't think they deserve to discuss this beautiful North Face with with, with us with us with us anyways as you can see we have probably the most hyped colorway I'm not quite sure what resale is right now on stock X, but I will put it somewhere on the screen this piece is by far the most hype between this and the fleece that is in this exact same colorway as you can see it's in this red and white color but it's not like a true white it's kind of like a natural color the one thing I don't like or my one complaint was actually this like black thing going straight down. I didn't really care for that, but I guess it doesn't matter too much because they also have these black little cuffs. I would have much rather preferred them to use one of the dominant colors in this piece and then done the North Face embroidery in this cream, but that is just me. Either way, overall, this jacket is sick. You have the Supreme branding on the hood right there. You have the North Face branding on the left chesticle or breastesses. Like most North Face jackets, you also have the North Face embroidery on the right back shoulder blade. And then this time on the right chesticle, you have Cordura brand and Gore-Tex. Now these jackets were five you heard a lot of people probably complaining about the price like oh, that's way too much money Please understand. This is not a mountain jacket. This is not your standard jacket Like it is really sick when North Face does collaborations like this and they use expedition jackets These are a little bit higher quality. These are jackets that you can actually stop texting me dude I am the worst at turning my phone off. I am actually like I never ever 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 turn it off Dr. Pepper Please sponsor me. Okay, so, like I was saying, these are jackets you can actually take up to the mountains. They have Cordura Ripstop Nylon. They have a Gore-Tex outer shell, so they're gonna be waterproof. They're gonna actually protect you from the rain. I posted a picture on my Instagram not too long ago where I was wearing the full Expedition suit, and I wore that up to the mountains. Well, it wasn't like a crazy hike. I wanna, it was Lake 22, I think. It might've been Snow Lake. You can look up online on WTA.org exactly how long those hikes are. It wasn't like an extremely long hike, but it was pouring down rain the entire time. You can see how wet Red was during that hike. Red being the dog in that photo that it's kind of a meme on my Instagram. A lot of people think that dog is photoshopped. But I have shown videos many times, so unless I can CGI that dog, he's a real dog. It's a Siberian Husky, not a wild wolf. Shout out to Wolf's Rain though, really good anime. But it's really sick when they do collaborations such as this and they put out pieces that you can actually use for the outdoors. The Mount Parka is, it's an outdoors piece, but it's not really, going to give you any protection from the outer elements unless you put some kind of liner inside. Oftentimes those jackets have zippers inside where you can attach a liner as well. They're not really going to protect you from outer or winter elements that much. I still use them on hikes and I still take them on hikes, but honestly, usually I layer multiple things underneath those jackets. And with this, I would have to layer two. Obviously, I'm not going to hit some snow peaked mountain. If I'm doing a hike that requires a couple thousand feet elevation gain in the winter time, that's not going to be the only jacket that I need, but it's going to be a little bit more protective than those other jackets. It's also going to be a little bit durable and I'm glad that they dropped the pants as well. Now when I first saw the pants I was kind of on the fence about it because I did not really like the suspenders. I would have preferred to see something that I can wear not only when I'm going hiking but also wear out in everyday use. And I did end up getting all three of the pants as well to match each suit. If you guys follow me on Instagram you guys know I take some pretty crazy photos in some of these Supreme North faces and I take these pieces that are coveted by many that are often kept in a closet and I try to actually break them out and use them for what they were originally intended to be used for by the North Face. Obviously the North Face has become almost more of a streetwear brand than an outerwear brand at this point. But when they named these jackets, they named them for a reason. There's a reason a lot of these jackets are named after popular mountain ranges or hikes. For example, Denali, Nutsy, even the brand name itself, the North Face. So for me, I like using these pieces for their intended use and it's a brand that I've always supported. And hopefully someday I can get that North Face sponsorship that would be a dream come true. But anyways, getting into the next package. By the way, if you guys would like to see me go over all of these North Faces, each and every colorway, and compare them all, then of course, let me 
know by smashing that like button down below and showing some love in the comments. But anyways, I already said but anyways. <laughs> okay, so we got some teas. Um, these teas were kind of flops. The main reason I copped these was because I have that series now where I'm trading bricks to grails. And to be honest, you never know what's going to happen with teas. Sometimes, you know, teas can flop and then go up in the future. These are Chris Cunningham teas. I actually like some of these pieces. I liked this one. And I did not really care for this one. This is the Chihuahua. I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of that second one. Not even going to bother opening those. I just feel like that collaboration, although it was cool and I liked one of the teas, I feel like... If you look at a lot of work from Chris Cunningham, you can... I just feel like that collaboration could have been way sicker. But anyways, let's keep it moving because I... I don't know. I feel like that just kind of killed a little bit of my energy. Okay, so what is this? Oh, what? I actually... Oh, yes, baby! Killer box logo! I was worried I wouldn't get one of those. Okay, I just got way, way too hyped. Okay, so um, I actually thought these were the CDG pants for a moment, and I got really excited, but they're not the CDG pants. They're even better, the Thorn pant. Now, this piece is so sick. Now, because this is a little bit smaller of an unboxing, I can continue to go in detail about some of these pieces like I did with the North Face, but this is not just painted on here. This is actually next level. If you look very closely, I'll try to insert some B-roll. This is actually a part of the stitching in the pant. It's somewhat similar to the cherub jacket they did where the design is actually all a part of the actual pant and not just printed on there. And I think that is super sick. That's like next level. I'm definitely stoked to have these in the collection. These are going to be a pant that I wear and try to style. It's a little bit crazy, a little bit out there, a little bit wild, but nonetheless, I think these pants are super dope and I'm glad to add these to the collection. I would have copped the uh, denim jacket as well. I mean, maybe I did cop the denim jacket. I don't know. I don't think I did, but whatever. Two more of these packages, and then we have two boxes. What's this? No stickers in that one. That's cool. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we got some stickers, baby. Okay, so this piece right here, this is a Supreme striped hoodie, I believe. This is just the all-black hoodie that just has the Supreme. <sighs> Get off me like wrestling with this hoodie right here. As you can see, you have Supreme embroidered 73 times all across the chesticle region going all the way down the sleeves as well. I do like this hoodie. I think it's a clean, simple hoodie. And is this like, oh wow, this is not their standard hoodie. I kind of like these hoodies better than their normal hoodies anyways. As you guys know, Supreme has two kinds of hoodies. Yo, low key, this looks fake. Like low key, this hoodie looks fake. Like it came straight from Supreme. You guys literally saw me open the package and look at the tagging. Like there's no Made in Canada tag. It just says Supreme. The, the tag is real shitty. And then it says size large. Like what the, f there's no Made in Canada tag right here. This could have been made in China because if you guys are not aware, Supreme has two types of hoodies. They have a hoodie that has like a side ribbon going down the side. And then they have these hoodies where they do not have a side ribbon. Now just because the hoodie does not have a side ribbon, it does not mean that it's not made in Canada or that it is made in China. Usually the only hoodies that I have seen from Supreme made in China are the overdyed hoodies which use this same hoodie layout or uh, like same thing. Well, I figured that out. It's made in China. I'll insert some b-roll of that as well, but there are definitely differences in their hoodies. I'm not quite sure why they chose to do this particular hoodie. Not, I don't know, that's weird. That's just really strange to me. It's not a bad piece. It's definitely a clean hoodie and I might just end up keeping this for my personal collection because to be honest, a lot of their other hoodies that do have that side panel is it's just a little bit heavy for me personally. <laughs> that being said, those hoodies are a little bit thicker and more durable. They also use a heavier cotton, so it's a little bit more justifiable with that price tag that Supreme is charging these days. Oh, the hand warmer. <laughs> I forgot that I even got one of these. So this is just a little hand warmer thing, as you guys know. There's really, this thing is honestly so weird to me. I guess I'll open it for you guys. I mean, I guess if you're into sports, it really makes sense. If, like if you were like a high school sports star, I think something like this would be super dope. I guess for camping as well. I am so confused. The, the pocket is like half sewn, but either way, this could be something that I wouldn't mind camping with. Also, on top of that, the one plus side to this is, yeah, you can just wear gloves, but when you're camping or when you're hiking, this would be a little bit easier to take out. Actually, I honestly might trade this for a black one because I really kind of want to just take this hiking and use this as a separate little piece that I can put my hands in. Because this is, I'm not going to lie, bro, my hands are cooking right now. Like, my hands are actually on fire. Fire. Wow, that thing works amazingly. Okay, this thing is actually not that weird. If someone would like to trade a black one for the camo one, hit my line on Instagram, let me know. Uh, either that or the red one. Honestly, I'd probably rather have the red one. Sadly, I don't have a knife, so we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver. We're halfway there. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, 
living on a prayer. I've been called the songbird of my generation. Now, what is this? Oh, this is the marker. Damn it, this isn't even mine. This actually belongs to Carlos. As you guys may have seen, I got the two bears right there. I got the FTP bear and the polo bear. Supreme bear coming soon. And then last but not least, we also have yet another license plate. I do not know what color I had Kais get me. Yep, the gold color. These things are actually pretty nice. Anyway, so I have yet another chain license plate. I'm keeping all of those. I'm not selling any of them. Those are just for my personal collection. I apologize. We got a little bit too angelic in here. Obviously, it's been getting bright. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of upset because the sticker game is kind of weak because these Chris Cunningham graphics are f trash. They honestly could have done so much better. You have this little chihuahua right here. Okay, Akito Taco Bell. Then you have like three of these stickers uh, and these are like almost like photo reels of this little alien. To be honest, it doesn't even look like an alien. It just looks like a dude with a big head. So basically me. We have a plethora of box logos. We got one, two, three, four, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I want twelve of them. Regular box logos, but we also have the one, the only killer box logo. So I'm extremely stoked on that because I definitely wanted one of these in the personal collection. And on top of that, I rarely ever get the rare box logo stickers. Like for some reason, Supreme never sends me those. Oh, and then they gave me a little gross pin as well. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. Like I said earlier, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at the Starlife. That's T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. -E. That'll be somewhere on the screen in the description below. So make sure you go follow that. I will be posting some insanely sick pictures for all of the pieces that I'm keeping from this haul. Also, if you'd like to see more unboxings such as this, where I actually go into detail, then of course let me know by smashing that like button and showing some love in the comments below. Like I said earlier, make sure you subscribe and join the notification game, game, game. Thank you so much from the top and bottom of my heart. I already fucking said that. Peace the fuck out.